How's it going, webheads? Of course, I am here on Black Friday with Serena. Yeah. And we've already done a little bit of Black Friday shopping, but this is really just a vlog video that I wanted to do because it's honestly like it's Black Friday celebration so uh and i haven't really posted anything in a little bit sorry about that i will do a little bit of explaining and i'm going to be doing a 2000 subscriber celebration video pretty soon but of course we're out here and we're doing some black friday shopping i will be doing a haul to the towards the end of this video um but yeah we're out here doing some uh vlogging about black friday and we've already done some black friday shopping including me i got i already got this a GameStop. i thought this was pretty sweet if you guys are pop fans I got a Surtur the Fire Demon Pop. Get that get the glare out of there. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. I'll be doing I'll be like kind of reviewing that in my like haul and stuff like that. But yeah. Did you get let's... anything last night? No, we went last night, but I did most of the shopping last night. Yeah. She did most of the shopping for her family. But yeah, I'm gonna yeah, just do a little vlog of my Black Friday shopping. So um if you guys wanna see more, make sure you guys definitely stay tuned. Okay, where are we? All right, and now we are at the mall, Serena and me, and we can go into stores like, uh, I'm probably gonna go into stores like GameStop, Think Geek, if you guys know what that store is, and probably, I'd say Newberry Comics as well, and see so what we oh, can yeah, find Newberry for deals. Comics wasn't open last night. Yeah, Newberry Comics. There were Comics. a bunch of stores that weren't open last night, so that's why we're coming back. Yeah, so now that we can come back and kind of see if Newberry Comics has any deals. I doubt they do, but maybe I'll pick like uh, comic books up or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see what they got.
So we're back in the car. We're actually, at... oh wait, I shouldn't show that. <laughs> okay. it? So we're back in the car, and yeah, we just went through the mall. What did you think of the mall? Was it super packed, like you thought? It wasn't as packed as last night. It wasn't that bad. I still thought it was pretty packed. I mean, it was packed, to... but it wasn't like last night. I had to get out of the store a couple times because honestly, there's just too many people who got too hot, and I was like, nope, nope, not doing this. But I got some pretty cool stuff that I'll show you guys back at my house. Um, so yeah, I'll skip it to that. Alrighty guys, and now I am back from my uh, vlog. I'm basically back from Black Friday shopping, and now I can really get into what I got. This is my haul, my Black Friday haul, and I love doing this because this is the first time I've ever done like a haul or anything like that. Except for Boston Comic Con, I'm pretty sure I did a haul for that, um, but basically this is my second time really doing it, and I love doing these hauls. I got a lot of good deals on Black Friday, so I do want to show uh, some stuff off that I got. I think they're really cool. But first I'm gonna talk about the first stop that I made, which basically, uh, GameStop. GameStop was the first place that I went to, and now we can really talk about this. So the first thing that I got, which was really cool, because this is honestly a $60 game, and I got it for 25 bucks, which is a pretty good deal if you really consider like how much this is. But I got uh, the new Shadow of War game. Um, a lot of you guys know I love playing video games. I love these kind of games. And I'm not really a Lord of the Rings guy. I'm not that big into Lord of the Rings. I played the first game of this. I forget the title of the first game, but I played it. I sold it because I already beat the game, and I was just kind of like, yeah, I want to play the second one now. I want to play the second one. So I got this one. This one was awesome. I'm playing it right now, and I really liked it, how it's going. So definitely worth the 25 bucks. And I'm pretty sure they're doing this all the way until the 27th, which is a couple days from now. So honestly, go out and get one of these games because they're only 25 bucks. So I think this is definitely a great pickup for anybody that loves the Lord of the Rings or just wants a really good game for a uh, pretty low cost. Like this 60 bucks a week ago. Now it's only 25 bucks. So definitely go out and get that. I know in the video I basically was shown uh, that I was getting in Justice 2 and I was gonna get that game but the thing was when I got to the cash register the guy said that they were actually sold out of all the Injustice games and that none of the game stops around me actually had that game in stock because it was it was for a killer deal. It went from $50 all the way down to $15 or $14, something like that. And you know what? Like, honestly, that was some game that I really wanted. But, of course, they didn't have it. Maybe I'll buy it online while the deal's still going on. But I don't really know. But um, they also had some $10 pops. And this one, I'll show the first one that um, was it, the first one that I bought, which is actually Supreme Leader Snoke. This was the first one that I bought. I kind of wanted a Snoke pop. I never, I didn't know that they had any of these. But this is from The Last Jedi. Um from the new movie that's coming out next month and I'll be doing a movie review on that but yeah I'm really excited that I have um, Supreme Leader Snoke I think he looks awesome um, he's definitely one of the better pop um, Star Wars pops that I have I think he's pretty sweet definitely still don't know who this character really is in the Star Wars universe and I'm definitely probably gonna try to do a video on that because I think it'd be really interesting to have a theory about him and I kind of have a little I have a little bit of a theory already about who I think Supreme Leader Snoke is so that was one of the pops I picked up because you guys know I love me some Funko Pops. I love the Funko Pops. And this one, this one I've been looking for for a long time because I love Sir the Fire Demon in Thor Ragnarok. You guys know how I felt about that movie from my movie review. And goddamn, he was just so cool. He was an awesome pickup. I'm actually going to put him, like, bring him out because I want to show you guys how cool this guy is. And yes, I am one of those collectors that take the pop out of the box because I think it's just, in my opinion, I think it's dumb to keep him in the box. I don't like to keep them in the box. I do that with my comic books, but I don't do it with, with my pops. I like to keep them out. Because he's just, he honestly is probably my favorite Funko Pop that I have. Like, I love him. He's got his, he's got his, uh, his, um, his crown on. He's got his skull. And then they kind of have, like, a little bit of, like, skeleton, uh, sketches in there. Kind of on his front. And he has it on his back as well. Looks really cool. And I just love how he's just all fire. I love his sword that's just made out of fire. He is probably one of the coolest Funko Pops that I have. And if you put him up to the light, like, right next to a light or something like that, he really glows. He looks so cool. Honestly, I'm so happy that I have him. And he definitely is going to be coming with me to, um, my school, uh, my school set, basically, like right on my desk. I'm gonna put them right on my desk because this is probably my favorite Funko Pop that I have so far. And I know I have this Infinity Gauntlet next to me. This is honestly just me rearranging my room. If you guys knew my um, set before I went to school, uh, I had my Infinity Gauntlet right here where the Joker is, but I kind of changed that around. Probably gonna bring this to me, like bring this with me to school because when that Infinity War trailer drops, probably the beginning of December. I want to be there so that I can have this with me when I do the trailer reaction. Definitely a great pop if you guys have the local GameStop or I'll probably put a link down in the description if you guys are really interested because they have at ThinkGeek Online, it's like $11.99 to buy this, um, buy this pop online. 
And you know, I paid 10 bucks for him. That was the deal at GameStop, but still 12 bucks for this guy. Totally worth it. This is public. This, without a doubt, is my favorite Funko Pop that I have. So um, definitely worth the 12 bucks in my opinion. And I, I think he's just such a cool pop. So next, the next store that I went to really was Newberry Comics. If you guys know this place at all, I love Newberry Comics. Except sometimes they have a little bit of pricey, um, too pricey of things for me. Uh, like their pops are like 14, 15 bucks sometimes. And that's just way too much for me. Actually, you know what? You know what's funny? I put these in here, but actually, uh, was it Serena's parents? They went to go see Justice League at the AMC near us. And I never did, but they gave out free comic books, which is really cool. I don't know if they got any glare on that, but uh, yeah, they gave a free comic book, so it's the, just Justice League, and then the back has the poster, so it's pretty cool. They gave, they gave me two of them. I was pretty happy about that. I like I love collecting comic books, and I'm pretty sure inside, yeah, inside is just the Throne of Atlantis storyline, so that was pretty cool, but that wasn't really a Black Friday pickup. Now, these were, and this is something that I definitely think you guys should go out and see. The first one I'm going to show is the, I think it's the actual cover to it, but it's called Doomsday Clock. And now, this was not a, uh, this, there was no deal in Newberry Comics for these. This is just something that I personally really wanted to pick up because I'm a huge comic book fan. And this is something that Rebirth, if you guys read it, uh, the DC Rebirth has been alluding to ever since it first came out like two years ago. And I have that first issue, um, but this was a really good read. I definitely recommend going out and getting this. It's awesome cover. I love this cover so much. You got that Dr. Manhattan and Superman. So cool. And then the cover that I just wanted to pick up myself, it was like a dollar more, but honestly, totally worth it because this is just a really cool cover. You got Rorschach. It's one of those cool covers because when I like when I put it up like this, you can see the Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman logos in there. And of course, it's just really cool. The back just has the Doomsday Clock with um, Superman on there, like a Superman logo on that. And this is just one of the coolest like books I've had this year. Like honestly, I love these uh, transparent covers, really cool. And like I already read it and honestly, really good book. Guys, if you're a comic book fan, you love like say Watchmen, because it reads a lot like Watchmen does if you guys have ever read that or seen the movie, or you guys just like DC comic books at all, like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, uh, Flash, stuff like that. You definitely want to pick this up because this is the biggest event in DC Comics to happen in like probably a year. Like metal, metal is going on right now too, but that's not even uh, close to how big um, that one is. But this is something that I picked up at Think Geek. These are two uh, pops that I picked up at Think Geek. One was the uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi Ray. I didn't have a Ray uh, pop from Force Awakens when that came out. So I was like, you know what? I'll get a Ray pop. And I love how she has um, Luke and Anakin's lightsaber in there. That's super cool. And uh, she's just a really cool pop, honestly. Like, she's not really doing anything amazing, but... I just like, uh, I like her new outfit in The Last Jedi. I think that's really cool. And the last one I got from Think Geek was Heimdall. I had to get me a Heimdall. I had like all the Thor Ragnarok pops, except for Valkyrie. I still got to collect Valkyrie. But yeah, they're all, like this one's really cool too. He has an awesome sword. I love his eyes. Or his eyes are awesome. Yeah, but uh, that's really all I picked up for, uh, I mean, like all I picked up. I picked up a lot. I spent a little bit too much money on uh, Funko Pops and all that. I have a problem with Funko Pops. I buy too many of those and comic books. Too many Funko Pops, too many comic books, but I'm actually really glad. I think the best thing that I bought was definitely um, the Sir to the Fire Demon Pop. He's my number one, but my number two definitely is going to be this Shadow of War game because I think this is such a hell of a deal. Guys, honestly, if you just like Lord of the Rings or you want a good game and you like, like any kind of good game, it's for the Xbox as well. Uh, go out and pick up this Shadow of War game. It's awesome. 25 bucks right now. You can't beat that price anywhere. That's super good. But yeah, that's really all I have for this vlog in this um, haul. So guys, definitely let me know what you guys picked up on Black Friday in the comments below. I always want to hear your opinions about this stuff. Also, make sure you guys definitely smash that like button if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more vlogs. I'm totally open to doing a lot more of those, especially with the holiday going on, all that kind of stuff. And maybe I'll even do a Christmas haul. Like maybe when Christmas rolls around, I get um, some presents. Maybe I'll do a haul on that and like show off all the geeky stuff that I got because you guys know I love my geeky stuff. And also make sure you guys definitely subscribe for more awesome content. I have plenty more videos coming out on my channel. Also, make sure you guys definitely hit that notification bell so you guys get to keep up to date with all of my latest uploads. But thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye. All right, Webheads, if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, make sure you guys definitely subscribe right over here to Webhead. I have plenty more uploads coming out on my channel. Make sure you guys definitely check out my social media links in the description below so you guys get to follow me on all different kinds of social medias. And of course, make sure you guys definitely check out the two videos below me. I think you guys will really, really enjoy. But thank you all very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Bye-bye.